buying camera gear has a major downside. And that downside is price. Price is the major determining factor between the camera we want and the camera we settle for. Like deciding whether to go with APS-C or full frame. Better yet, deciding to go with the A7C or the ZV-E10. Before we go any further, let me know in the comments below which one of these cameras you would buy if price did not matter. The Sony A7C or the Sony ZV-E10. Disclaimer, I have not had the pleasure of using the ZV-E10, but I have owned the A7C. With that said, this is a subjective video. It is unbiased and it's solely based on considering buying a camera when price matters. Let's start with the specs. You can find here in the grid all the specs I thought were important to consider when looking at both the camera's bodies, the Sony ZV-E10 and the Sony A7C. And now let's look at the price. The price of the ZV-E10 is $799.99 and the price of the Sony A7C is $1798. Now let's throw in some starter lenses with these cameras. I think Tamron is a great starting point great quality that barely breaks the bank for the sony zv e10 i think the tamron 11 to 20 and the 17 to 70 2.8 are great options the tamron 11 to 20 is 649.99 the tamron 17 to 70 is 749 and for the sony a7c i think the tamron 17 to 28 and the 28 to 75 are great starting points if you can only go with one for photography i would say go with the 28 to 75 great compression at 75 and it is 2.8 all the way through the focal range for video i would say start out with the 17 and 28 and when you need a little more reach put it in APS-C crop mode. So the Tamron 17 to 28 is 799.99 and the Tamron 28 to 75 is 799.99. Now let's tally up all the prices of both bodies and the cameras. For the ZV-E10 is $2,198 and for the Sony A7C is $3,397.98 when factoring in the lenses. There is a $1,200 difference between the two cameras also based on the lens selection. There are more budget options out there which may offset the cost and price between the two. I'd recommend having an idea on how you will be shooting and what you will be shooting knowing this information is a major determining factor into how much you will be dishing out for either camera now based on features and price which is the best option for you let me know down in the comments below and also do me a favor stay awesome